Welcome back to RTC, ladies and gentlemen, it's Craig, and today we're going to talk about some of the favourite mods that I enjoy. Of course, it's just going to be a general overbrief. All the mod names on Otter names will be on the screen there, and some of the links will be down in the description. So let's get started talking about some of my favourite mods to date, which is awesome. We finally have mods, so let's roll on them. Uh, let's roll up with the mods. The first mod we can have a look at right now is the Unlock Settlement Objects mod by Andrew CX. Andrew CX did a great job importing a lot of these different kind of items into the game with the resources that we have in the PS4, Fallout 4. That was a mouthful. It really was. But anyway, as you can see here, we have a lot of different Institute and Wasteland and pre-war elements as well. Even skeletons, which is awesome. So you can always have a de bit of decoration in your settlements. This inclu also includes different kind of vertebrates, um, tanks, APCs. All includes every kind of pre-war vehicle and post-war vehicle as well. And yeah, it's kind of awesome. So the next mod we have is the Unlock Raider Settlement Items by Andrew CX. Once again, he's made it possible that if you go with the good guy ending for uh, Nuka World, you can still download this mod and unlock all the little elements to it as well. As you can see here, most of my people are standing on these mats, which gives them a custom pose. So it's quite awesome, guys. You should give it a download. All right, the next mod we have here is Stone Walls by Devil Dog Dog, which is awesome. And it gives a new element into the warehouse uh, wall section, which gives you the stone wall effect, which is quite awesome. I was messing around with it in my Fort Benning stream, and it's really cool. It makes the base look a bit more lively than ever. And I kind of like the design of how it would look like if, like if Fort Benning was made out of completely, utterly just stone walls, which is awesome. And it has a great little curve to it coming up here. It may look a bit blocky, but when you get further out and look at a different distance, it looks great. The next mod we have is the Unified un unified Clothing Overhaul with ammo and, uh, and ammo and armor crafting, which is awesome, guys. You should really check it out. It's also by Andrew CX again. But this mod here we have right now is probably i've been waiting for one of these mods because i'm a really big fan of this modder her name is the real eleonora she is awesome she's brought one of her home mods as well i know she's brought another one as well but i'm not going to do a review about that just a second because this mod is absolutely beautiful and it's cool as hell because you weren't expecting the level of detail we have in this home which is absolutely amazing you may live in a little bungalow caravan kind of thing but She's put so much effort into this and beautiful design to it and just every little bit of detail and I feel like it's a very lore friendly home as well because I can imagine that's every single other Wastelander's home would look like that with all this stuff stacked on. So the real Eleonora has done an amazing job while having custom assets because I know she has her face on most of everything including coffee tins which she has a love for coffee as well. She, I've always been a big fan of her mods, and while well, I have to give you this one, Eleonora, I'm glad this is on the PS4, and I hope you guys download it as well, because it's a nice little house mod located in Diamond City behind Abbott's house, which is awesome. But let's talk about this mod in particular, which is Separate Coats by Andrew CW, which gives you the flight jacket and Maxon's jacket to play around with as a separate item. So guys, this has been the mods I've been enjoying the most out of at the moment. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. You know, give it a like, share it around, or even subscribe to the channel if you're new, because I'm going to be building with mods for enough recently enough, and hopefully still keeping up with my vanilla ones. So I'll see you guys next time on RTC.